Um, we're actually not going to um, sew, we're not going to have to um, sew the seam for this one. You can leave the seam open. Sometimes it helps though to press that seam um, just so you know where the uh, the zipper foot is, or the zipper is actually supposed to land. Um, we know that it's going to land a half inch using our seam allowance, so um, if you press so that you know it's the half inch from the seam allowance, then that'll be the same uh, as marking it. Again, this is an invisible zipper foot. Um, it has two tracks, like a railroad, um, that go through it, and basically that is to guide the needle as close as possible to these little ridges. Uh, sometimes with invisible zippers I've seen people go and like sort of press these out a little bit so that that roll goes under there a little bit better. These little ends will get stuck under there sometimes so be careful. You, you, you know it can be a little frustrating to use these zipper feet but when you get it going it really does a nice job. So if you have to sort of use a different zipper foot for the very top and the very bottom it's not the end of the world. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we place our zipper again face down where our opening would be. And uh, I like, I actually do like to baste these. You don't have to, but I find that hand basting it actually makes it so it doesn't move. So, and just for habits purposes, I'm going to show you that. Um, the, the little, the um, instructions don't say to do that. Just make sure that when your zip, if, whenever your zipper um, meets the seam here, that the center, those teeth are on there. The, the invisible zipper, the tape is a little less than um, a half inch, so it doesn't quite go to the edge. So just be careful when you're doing this to really make sure that it's on your seam line. If you start to get off that seam line, you may end up starting to change the, the fit of your garment a little bit, and especially with something like an invisible zipper, which is normally used in something that's a finer garment, you know, you wanna hide the zipper, and so, um, you know, sometimes the fit on something with an invisible zipper is really important. So if you ended up adding accidentally a half inch because it was a quarter of an inch off on either side, then you might end up with a garment that doesn't quite fit the way that you had initially intended. Half inch isn't very much in terms of fit, but like I said, if it's a very, you know, an evening gown with a very specific fit, you might end up uh, with something different. So um, I actually can baste both of my sides down. Uh, and this is also a good habit to get into because then I can actually test it and make sure that my zipper's lining up okay. Something that happened a lot when I was first starting to sew um, was that my zippers would go in and one side would be slightly positioned a little different than the other side and so the ends of my garment wouldn't quite meet up and I also would have sort of a little twist. And, uh, and that was a real, um, a real bummer because I had put so much effort in and of course the zipper is always the last thing that goes in and so it's like all that work and then it doesn't quite look right so and especially because zippers can be challenging at first to, to put in to, to set in um, once you get the hang of it and if you actually follow these directions that I'm giving you and that I'm telling you and you actually hand based it will be easier I know it seems like a hassle and um, time-consuming but uh, this does make it much much easier And just make sure that it's nice and even that whole way. All right, good enough. Okay. So again, if you baste it, uh, you can then just double check and make sure that you know everything is looking right. Uh, the other reason you like I like to baste it is because you're going to sew this one side at a time, and it needs to be open. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sew uh, this first side on. And again, um, I like to start down a little bit because um, it gets stuck on that uh, stopper at the top. And you're gonna make sure that it's going through the rut that is uh, puts the needle closest to it. If I move this over to the other rut, it's actually gonna be on the other side of the needle. And you kind of unroll it a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm unrolling that a little bit to fit through that channel. Make sure it's not on a number five stitch. Sorry. And you can back stitch a little bit. Just again, be careful because it does get sort of stuck sometimes. Uh, and then as you're going, you also might want to kind of roll it and make sure that it's um, really kind of 
getting close and it's not getting stuck on anything. And you want to pull, you can't do that trick because you can only do one channel at a time. So you kind of have to just get close to the end there and backstitch. And what I'll do is I'll show you in a minute how to finish it off. Uh, so that's one side and you can see it gets much closer than you'd be able to with any of the other zipper feet. Um, and I'll show you if you look on this side, you see how close, I mean, it's super invisible. You really can't see it. And so that, now it's time to do the other side. And because um, I'm going to start from the bottom this time, because I want to just use the same side channel. I suppose you could do it. We could do it from the top, actually. It doesn't matter how you, how you start it. It's just make sure you use the correct channel. So this time I'm actually doing it on the left-hand side. And again, just make sure that it kind of unrolls as it goes. Get as close to that stopper as you can. Back stitch. And that is extremely invisible, right? So the only thing you have to do after you've done that is uh, you want to go back to your other zipper foot before you're completely finished and fix the top and the bottom and make sure that they are actually going all the way to the end. Otherwise, you'll get a little hole. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So now you can come back up to the top here and uh, just make sure that your zipper is actually sewn all the way to the end of the zipper tape on both sides. Oops. And the same thing at the bottom here. Uh, you're going to want to just see how it kind of ends and there's a little gap there. Um, and I you know, it's not super visible, but if this is a tight-fitting dress, you're going to have that, which is so beautiful. Nice job with the invisible zipper. You don't want to ruin it with a little uh, mess mistake at the bottom. So what you do is you just kind of take up where you left off and try and get as close as possible. The other thing that you can do is hand stitch that closed if you really can't get in there. Um, that's also fine. Uh, I've seen, you know, a little slip stitch in there. We'll, we'll take care of that right away. Because uh, you really can't, when it, especially when it's closed, you really can't get as close as you need to for this. Um, so if you still have that little pucker, you can hand stitch it closed with a slip stitch. Okay? So um, why don't you guys go ahead and work on those?